Welcome to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror is a cultural phenomenon where there is a very queer, very horror-esque movie, and then there is a shadow cast that is dancing and acting and lip-syncing in front of the movie. It's a really great way to get the whole community together to celebrate queer identity and sexuality in a way that is very liberating and feels very appropriate to Halloween. Rocky Horror was really, really important to my personal both queer and trans awakening. I can say that I came out as transgender when I was 15 years old, and that's also when I first started going to Rocky Horror at least every month. And it allowed me to not only see queerness in a way that was celebrated and unapologetic, but also meet other queer people in my community. The first time that I saw Rocky was when I was 15 and I was still in the closet. Hearing Frank talk about their experience as a queer person and the line, don't dream it, be it, about giving yourself over to absolute pleasure and becoming the version of yourself that you've always dreamed that you could be, but maybe can't quite be because of society's standards. I think that that song was very beautiful and it still you know, makes me very emotional every time I hear it. Rocky is special to me. A couple years ago, I, we went to see a shadow cast production of Rocky in San Francisco, and I dressed up as him. My friend did my makeup as a guy. We did corny fake abs, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and that was probably my first gender identity crisis moment. For me personally, I've always loved just try to bend my gender in any way I can, because I've never really felt like I fit into how a woman is supposed to be. And so Rocky is fun for me in that he's this super macho, muscular guy, just capital G guy. But he's also a silly little baby and he has no idea what he's doing. I was always so drawn to the character of Frankenfurter. With time, my relationship with that character has become a lot more complex because that character is a caricature of a trans feminine person or a trans woman. But when I was growing up, that was all I had. So that's what I clung to. If you look at Rocky Horror's origins, it's undeniably rooted in trans misogynistic stereotypes against trans women. The character of Frankenfurter is an amalgamation of a lot of different harmful Hollywood tropes that paint transgender women as violent murderers. So it's really important to know where that history is coming from, but also understand how this movie has been reclaimed by the trans community as a celebration of countercultural queer identity. I think Rocky Horror, what it really does is it causes us to question all of our assumptions on what's right, what's wrong, what, are, what should we be expecting. You have these villainous, scary characters, but they take this you know, repressed woman, Janet, and they show her a different way to live. And I think that all of us have been raised with a lot of expectations. So to come see Rocky and participate in it is a way of standing up for your sexual freedom. I think being able to celebrate the beautiful performance that we're putting on tonight, being able to support your sibs and all the hard effort they put into it, and just embracing all parts of our community are really important.